Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm here at Faith Regional here in Norfolk, Nebraska. With over 1,300 employees and over 330 jobs, it sounds like the perfect place to check out what they have to offer. Hi, I'm in the ICU unit here at Faith Regional and I'm about to meet with Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. I'm Anthony. He's the IT guy here at the hospital. Now, Brian, what is IT? What does that stand for? Uh, it stands for information technology, and it, it's generally uh, dealing with any computers or systems or networks that uh, work with our systems here at the hospital. So what kind of a specialization does that take? I mean, do you go to college for that, or how, how did you get where you are here at the hospital? Sure. Uh, so most of our, our IT staff have had uh, two or four years of school. Uh, experience is a big deal. In this day and age, how is technology utilized in the hospital? I mean, is it just websites? It's everywhere. There's no function in, in the hospital that doesn't have an IT component to it. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Anthony, nice to meet you. You too. So I have a few questions I wanted to ask you about what you do here at Faith Regional. What is your position? My position is the director of the critical care services, which includes the intensive care unit and the step-down unit and the teletech area. Education-wise, what does one have to do to work for the hospital? Nursing in the hospital facility requires either an associate degree or a bachelor's degree. So everyone's kind of familiar with nursing in hospitals, but what other career paths are available uh, for people? It takes a whole team to take care of our patients. The respiratory therapists are very important in our team, the pharmacists, the dietary, the physical therapists, the occupational therapists. There's a variety of team members that help in taking care of all the patients and families here. So I just got my room here in ICU room 22 and I'm meeting with my doctor now, Jocelyn Bailey. Hello. Good just wanted to you. ask you a few questions about your career and what you do. So to start out, can you tell me about your position? Yeah. So I'm a hospitalist and so we see just a variety of things from pneumonia to people with heart attacks and take care of just about anything that would come in. There's other doctors that work here in the hospital. There's like cardiologists who would take care of you if you had a specific heart problem. There's specific kidney doctors. There's also doctors that are radiologists that they look at all sorts of imaging like x-rays, any other scans that you would need while you're here in the hospital. So it's not just, I'm a surgeon, I operate on people. There are other doctors here than what you, know, you see on TV. Well, you know what, Dr. Bailey, I'm feeling a lot better. So thank you very much for the care. Uh, I'm gonna head out now, but it was great, great to meet you. There are a lot of occupations at the hospital that aren't a doctor or a nurse. I'm about to meet with Jake. He's responsible for the foundation that raises all the money that makes this thing work. Hi, I'm here with Jake, the Executive Director of Physician Recruitment and Foundation. Yes, sir. What is your job? We raise money for the hospital to further our mission. So basically you're the money man. Exactly, exactly. It's not just me though, it's a team. And uh, we have a really great team environment here, uh, not only in the foundation, but all over the entire facility. So besides a doctor, what other jobs do, can I have here at the hospital? There's a lot of them, whether that's you know being an electrician, being a plumber, doing construction. Uh, we, there's a lot of administrative positions. There's nutrition positions. Uh, there's marketing, graphic design, uh, really just a lot of different ways to get involved. Uh, but it's really great to be able to take care of people no matter if you're on the front lines clinically or behind the scenes. Uh, it's great to be able to take care of people and make a difference in your community. Hey, thanks Jake. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. You do the same, thanks. Well, I've talked to hospital doctors, nurses, and now Jake from the foundation. You know, I'm pretty sure I could work here. This really is a great place to work. Nurse, 